All right, welcome back. This is M Dog. We are playing Russian Fishing Four, and we are at Cory Lake. So always exciting if you uh, have recently unlocked Cory, or even are a little past Cory, but looking for good places to fish. Reportedly, we're going to be able to catch some bream here. Uh, it's still a little early, but we've caught a couple fish. It does look like they're active. We've caught some nice roach as well. But this is exciting because if this ends up being a reasonably decent spot for bream, then um, you have the opportunity to spin fish or troll during the day and then come make some pretty nice silver in the overnight hours on bream. So you uh, likely already have feeder setups to target bream at, by the point in which you're at quarry. So uh, this is always fun when this is the case. So we'll see if it is the case. See how good it seems. I've kind of set up the rigs pretty standard for bream, although I do have a um, a braided line for a, a leader over here. Uh, the other two have fluorocarbon, sort of per normal. A little bit stronger. You know, a lot of times I'll do five something or six something for bream. Went ahead and put 7.4. Uh, I think it, you know, should be fine. We'll we'll see how they respond to it, but um, I'm anticipating that it will be okay. All right, now I just got to remember to take off the uh, bells so that we don't listen to the bells the whole time, and replenish the ground bait. And this is a 15 meter clip we're using here at 98 110, really just casting straight out at an angle there towards the 7.5 hole. And um, one thing that is fun about this spot, I mean, it's probably not 15 meters might be a little too far, but when it gets to be evening, you could always try like a seven or eight meter clip. And with your light on, this might be one of the spots where you could actually see see the fish out there uh, as they take the bait. Now again, I think 15 might be a little too far, but it's always fun when you can do that here at Quarry with how crystal clear the water is. And I know I have fished in this spot for before for bream and other things. And again, if you sort of bring it in a little bit, you can... Uh, have that cool experience of seeing the fish go after the bait even while you're using a feeder. I thought while it's still early here, it's still 1727, just wanted to go check the cafe real quick so we know if there's anything to pay attention to. So we potentially get, you know, one of these roach orders done. We do have a bream order that might be possible if it's a good spot. So that's nice. Plenty of time on all three of those orders. So that's something we might be able to do. Now the roach, once it gets to be later overnight, the roach are going to um, probably give way to almost 100% bream bite. But for right now, it's it's been pretty close to 50-50 between bream and roach. So we'll see if we can knock out a couple cafe orders that would certainly increase the amount of silver that uh, that we could make here all right yeah in fact we've got four roach and two bream at the moment we'll see how that how that percentage shifts as we get later though Hopefully the spot just in general will pick up a little bit. We're using large one hooks, certainly could go down in size a little bit and um, maybe have a little better bite rate, especially on the roach. There's a nice little bream.
Hey, it's another roach. I'm almost cheering for the roach, at least for the first part of this time, just because it'd be nice to hit at least the larger of those two cafe orders. I think there's a maybe another roach. Something is just sitting here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the common roach are more likely to get hooked and then not not go anywhere with it, so they're just kind of sitting there with your bait. remember what the I should have paid attention to the size requirements on that cafe order I feel like one of them was eight but I don't remember what the size requirement was I guess we'll just catch what we catch and then go uh, go see but I'm, I'm hearing from other folks that that trolling right now on Corey has been good too so if you have that combination where you can Troll during the day and then come over here and catch some really nice roach and bream at night. It's going to be pretty sweet. We are early in the week, but let's see if by chance any of these Bream weeklies are from here. Yes, they are. And they are on garlic dough or night crawlers. And if you're trying to pick something out to troll with early in the week, you might take a shot on, of course, a hunter spoon is always gonna be around, spiker, that other one was a handmade. Look how many of these spinner baits are producing some decent fish. That's interesting. Although it is just early in the week. So it's a sp in particular like spin fishing. You probably need more data to decide what you want to try to use to target some good fish here. But can't go wrong with a hunter spoon looks like a lot of spinner baits are working and then typically wobblers do pretty good here too especially trolling You know, looking back on it, that first bream, I mean, that came in 11 minutes ago and it was 1.7 kilos. That is a really early but nice bream. I mean, we're still not in what I would consider, you know, typical, like really good bream time. Normally you wouldn't even think about it till, you know, 9, 10 p.m. you start expecting them to pick up a little bit. So we'll see what happens here though. Don't think this is a roach. I 
I don't think that's quite big enough for that cafe order, but that is a nice one. So three pretty nice ones so far. Bream are strong. Alright, let's see if we're even just for my own uh, information. Let's just see where we're at on those two roach orders. And there may be overlap between the two, but I'm not sure. Again, just need to see the size. Oh yeah, okay. So, we're actually already there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it in. Uh, this is way more silver than you'd get just by selling them. So that's almost, you know, 31 and a half silver for eight roach, it's pretty incredible. And then 12 for this one, it, that's not as good a deal because we're catching such solid roach sizes. And again, no, um, no bream this size yet. Always watch for these rough orders though. A lot of times you can catch some really nice rough at quarry. So if you have a cafe order for rough, uh, it's, you know, sometimes even just like right here, you can catch pretty decent rough, but it's worth like trying to find them when you've got a cafe order because pretty good rough come out at quarry as long as they're active. That is a big boy roach. Five eleven on that one. I don't mind. You know, like I said, I think once it gets to be nighttime, you'll pretty much see the bream show up. But I don't mind these uh, really healthy roach at all. Like, I mean, again, it's pretty good silver in particular when you have the cafe order to back it up. But we're catching some healthy sized roach. A lot of people in chat have been talking about the weather in Cory this week. It also looks really good. So if you're watching this video soon after it comes out, we've got several hours of like pretty ideal temperatures at Cory. Uh, a lot of times weeks will be a little warmer than this. So to have the temperatures down in that location, 
probably good for this spot, but also just good in general if you want to do some trolling at Corey this week. Uh, this in-game week, by the way. Ooh. I mean, I cannot believe how active the roach are. It's amazing. There's another one. see these these bream even after bream were nerfed in terms of how much xp they're granting they're still like you know just your average one and a half kilo two kilo bream like three times as much xp as the roach are but again all of it adds up for xp but especially it adds up for silver because as ever, the issue in this game is not leveling up fast, it's gaining enough silver. getting a little late but I'd love to see one like trophy roach come out or even just something a kilo or more It'd be so cool I'd say we probably have a reasonable chance if you uh, fish here several nights in a row especially of seeing both trophy roach and trophy bream out of this spot Very close. So that's 191 XP. And that's a really good roach. 191. I don't think it's uncommon for, what, a two kilo bream to be around 600 XP or something like that. I don't know how close we'd have to get it to actually see it. Well, 
Well, you can definitely see it at seven. I bet you could still see it at 10 as well. But let's see if we can get a fish to come all the way up to seven meters close. We have to watch it though, because it can happen quick. If it does. Whoa! Trying to do too many things at one time here. Nothing yet. Yeah, so we probably would have been okay at 10, maybe. If we don't have something come up to it soon, we'll move it to 10. But I like doing this, especially if you're a newer player. It gives you an idea of kind of how long sometimes the fish will come nibble, especially if you can see like different species, and how the different ones behave. Uh, it's really, it's really cool. It's also nice if you, you know, want to work on your float fishing to fish like close enough where you can see it like this because you can kind of see what the different bites and nibbles look like. It may just be too close. I'm not gonna move it yet because we're also not catching fish on the other lines. So it may be a uh, time or situational thing. Oh, there goes the third rod. Whoa, big fish. All right, a couple more like that. We've got that other cafe order. Uh, what is that? What's he doing? Is that just one of those, like, they added in a few fish animations that'll pop up sometimes? All right, I'm moving this to nine. Let's see if we can still see it. Can we still see it? Yeah, but it's not clear. Eh, it's just not clear now. So maybe eight would be the magic number. We'll see if this gets a fish though. It may still be too close to actually get the fish. 
I mean, I am struggling to see that. So on stream, I mean, through the recording, you may not be seeing that at all, unfortunately. But if you want to come and do this yourself, you can sort of see it. Although I think I would try it at eight meters. If we end up catching a fish on nine, which we may not, it just may be too close. It has to do with like the way the light reflects off the dark. All right, so if you are watching this and you are in my in-game chat, which first of all, let's show you that. If you, um, if you are not, you can click on this cogwheel here, go to select a chat channel, and then type in MySpace D-A-W-G-S, and you will see us pop up here, 658 players. Uh, but recently, Joe Fisherman, level 32, has been running uh running some comps with prizes for folks in our chat group so uh if you're on and you see joe on maybe find out when the next one's going to be if that's something you're interested in but very cool to hear about that and want to make sure you are participating in that if you so desire but thank you joe for doing that All right, I'm gonna move this back to 15 because this is apparently getting it out to 15 meters is important <laughs> for this spot. Oh, we don't have any ground bait in there. I wonder if any of the other ones are out of ground bait. Well, it looks like they're both getting nibbles, so we can add it in a second if they are. And I think this middle rod, when I cast it last time, I just did not cast it far enough. You can see it's at a closer angle, the way it's holding in the line in the water like that. All right, so it's 4 a.m. At some point we start seeing roaches mixed back in, uh, but we can still see at this point, Strong chance of seeing some really nice bream still all the way up till at least 7 or 8 a.m., sometimes past that. So we'll go just a little bit longer here, just in case we catch a really nice one. Oh, goodness. Well, whatever size this is, I'm glad we moved it back out to 15 kilos. So there's another really nice one, 4.172. My goodness. That is a big old boy. Coming in really healthy at the moment. We are, I think, one short of that other cafe order. So remember, in-game chat, look out for Joe Fisherman and join those comps for a chance to win some prizes. Sounds like he's uh, handing out some nice prizes as well.
Hey, it's a roach. Oh, there it is. There's the one kilo plus roach. I knew it would come through for us. Okay. Well, if it was just a bream spot, we're at 16 over a kilo. It's five in the morning. That's a pretty healthy bream spot. But it's not just a bream spot. It's also been really good roach, which means we've had a really nice bite rate overall. And we're catching a, that's another big roach. Look at that, holy cow. I'm telling you. Trophy roach, certainly possible in this spot, it feels like. Um, yeah, so we're catching really good bream, really good roach. A lot of fun, especially if you've just gotten to quarry and you're trying out a little bit of trolling during the day. Sometimes while you're getting dialed in, trying to figure things out, maybe you don't have the gear for it yet to be efficient. Well, at least you can still make really good silver at night on bream, at least while this spot is active. So get your bream while the breaming is good. I mean, this is pretty typical, I would say, for Old Berg, right? But spots like this at Quarry, they're not always like this. And when they are like this, that means, you know, if you're trying to do nighttime bream fishing, you don't have to travel away from Quarry, which is really fun, which is cool. It's just much more efficient, much more quick. It's funny, this right, this right, um, rig is catching a much higher percentage of common roach than the other two give me just a second here i'll be right back y'all catch me something good though All right, good job. Looks like you caught us some good fish. Let's see what we got here. Oh! Ay, ay, ay! This is a, a really nice one. Let's try not to... Oh! That is a nice bream. I mean, that's nice enough that I was just like looking for the coloration to see if it was a trophy, but it's not 3.5. That is a good one though. Well done. Well, we've got that cafe order if we want it.
think we do. Depends on if this one qualifies. I think we do. When I first started fishing, I was probably angled a little bit more like this. And over the course of time, I've drifted right. For what that's worth. Don't know that it matters, but. So Joe Fisherman wanted me to make sure everyone knew that it's silver prizes only. In other words, he's not passing out stuff that he'd have to buy with gold. Which, of course, makes sense, so. Stuff that he can purchase for silver has been what the uh, prize pool has been made, made up of. Now you see the sudden change in size. It's a little early for that to happen quite as definitively as it seems to, but maybe. We'll give it another minute or two, see what happens. But regardless, it's been a really good night of bream fishing with some fat roach mixed in as well. roach or really small bream okay so now it's past 8 a.m. so we'll keep the rods in for a minute I'm gonna run back and just see kinda how we've done silver wise um, remember the whatever it was 30 something silver we had in the first cafe order we um, might be worth maybe we've caught enough small roach now that it might be worth hitting that other cafe order for for roach but just in general that's 176 silver in an overnight session a little more than an overnight so that's good and oh we need to check let's see by weight these three would be worth 35 silver so if they do qualify for the cafe order it's going to be worth doing it Oh, beautiful. All right, so we can actually do these three for 75 silver. So we're up to 110 silver or so. Do we do this? Why not? So there's 12 more, 122 silver, and 122 plus we'll probably have another 100 silver maybe? 135, so whatever that is, 77. 277 that's a mighty good uh, session of bream and roach fishing thanks to the cafe thanks to the cafe all right so let's see if we have one more fish or something I mean it's you know it's still early enough that you're gonna see decent bream occasionally still show up but 
the consistency of it certainly dies down a little bit around this time. So there's another one, almost a two kilo bream. And there's another roach. So once again, we are here at Cory Lake, 98, 110, 15 meter clip. Uh, saw this spot on VK, thought we'd test it out. It's working great. Garlic dough bait, we did use large one hooks. Trophy breams available. Trophy roach, I would imagine, is available. But um, we did not get lucky during our session. Although, yeah, it just feels like they're just waiting to come out, right? All right, thanks for watching. Let me know how you do in this spot if you test it out yourself. Uh, I'm hearing that trolling quarry is going really well in general right now, so it sounds like this is the time to make some silver at quarry. Uh, all right, tight lines. I'll catch you next time.